Got the widget guy. I've been wanting to do just a trip like this on the V Strom 650 to see if I really want to keep it after the 1000 and uh, or my time on both 1000s, but especially the black one, Old Monty. And as nice as this bike is, and it's only got 1,485 miles. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to throw it up on uh, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, because I've been sitting here running, oh, 55, 5,700 RPM, getting about 75, maybe 80. You can't go by the speedometer because it's, uh, it's, at, it's actually uh, at the steer and drive. At 83, we're doing 78 by the GPS. Um, but yeah, it's just. The 1000s are just for stuff like this, hopping on the road and loading up, going camping or going for a trip. Uh, I'm spoiled. I am very spoiled by the 1000s now because um, I rode the, the big red last week for, gosh, over, a little over a thousand miles in two days. And then I rode the other beast drop back from Montana in Utah. And, I just, you know, as nice as this is, I keep telling myself I could ride this trouble-free for 15,000 more miles, you know, or more, you know, because it's only got 1,400 miles on it, but where my other one's got 80, no, it's got 10,000, but, um, you know, it's just on the highway, it's not as stable, the motor's spinning up a lot higher to give me pretty much the same speed. Um, I just like the way you sit down into the V-Strom 1000, kind of like uh, when I was on the Tenere, and I like the better suspension on the 1000. Um, so, and this one, you know, it does have a, oh, seat concept seat on it. It does have the airflow, give the airflow windscreen. And it's a nice bike. I mean, it would sit here and do this all day for 20 years, but... Uh, as far as the comfort factor, once you get it up above 70, feels a little more twitchy, a little bit lighter. Um, just everything about it, you know. So, yeah, I think tomorrow, because when I get back, it'll be dark. I think tomorrow I'm going to throw the boxes on it because it has a set of uh, metal uh, boxes and rack, the factory Suzuki stuff. But I think I'm going to get kick this to the curb. Um, you know, it's smooth, it's reliable. Honey, you're just not cutting it. Uh, I want big and fast, man. So, you know, and I don't even drive the uh, V-Strom 1000 fast. I do pretty much the same speed, but it just doesn't seem so nervous, you know. It, I'm not at six grand on the thing. I'm at 4,200 RPM, and, you know, that extra 50 pounds and the extra... The way you sit into the bike and the low center of gravity, you can't compare with uh, the 650. And I love the bike. I mean, I think it's just beautiful. It's fully equipped. Um, okay, it's my nose. Um, but yeah, this was a good trip. Uh, hopefully the climb gear is really good. I mean, it's as nice as he says, because I'm getting uh, an induction jacket. And now they'll replace this uh, fly jacket for a hundred bucks with the padding and then I'm getting a uh, the car jacket for a hundred bucks and it said only worn a couple times so we'll see uh, but the main thing for me is just I was able to get out on this bike and I'm glad I did because I don't want it <laughs> I love you baby but I don't want you anymore I, f I felt like that before you know I'm the divorce is a horrible thing but I love you baby but he ain't cutting it for me anymore so anyway that's what we're doing we're going to ride up to uh, Clarkdale pick up this stuff but uh, it's been just a nice ride it, we're finally at 90 degrees I had to get climb way up in altitude to get up here because uh, it was 100 and something leaving Phoenix and this bike it's got a lot of power it's 
smooth as glass. I think it's actually smoother than the Tenere. And they're in a scratch on this beautiful metallic paint job. But um, for one, I don't need two these drums. Or I have three now, but the other one's up for sale. But I don't need two. So let's consider that one gone. But I don't need two these drums. And then if I had a choice, now that I've done this ride today, um, this one's on the chopping block. So I'll get this posted tomorrow. And like I said, there's not a thing wrong with it. It's a... Uh, it's as good as a 650 V-Strom will get until you Suzuki decides to start mounting upside down the forks on it. And uh, until then, I will be more than happy on the Thou. Uh, you know, mileage on this is a little bit better, but uh, overall bike, Thousand's got this thing whipped. So anyway, we're getting ready to drop down into Camp Verde, into the Verde Valley. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the camera going because it's kind of a it's kind of a purdy purdy trip, and uh, yeah, this is a hard pull for trucks coming out of this thing. And last time I came out was uh, last week. I rode up here the Flagstaff on the red on Big Red V1000, and uh, it treated me good. And I almost took it today, but I wanted to do this comparison. I'm glad I did. So, but uh. Yeah, I did this right last week on the V1000, and yeah, coming up out of here, man, it treated this hill like it wasn't even there. And I'm sure this would too, but I definitely have to be uh, down the gear. But yeah, this is a pretty ride, just uh, dropping down into the Verde Valley. Yeah, and it just doesn't have the... It doesn't feel as stable once you get up in the 80 mile an hour mark, 75, 80 mile an hour mark. Uh, and it's not even that windy today. There's a little wind. But, uh, uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to shut this off. i got to get gas down here in uh, Camp Verde. And then I'll continue on to the guy's house. And, yeah, hopefully I'll have uh, some climb gear. So anyway, guys, I'm down here. They have a Chevron right there. We're going to fill up this baby with the good stuff. And the uh, one thing about this bike, it takes the regular, or the V-Strom 1000, it takes the premium. But I don't mind paying that and being on the 1000. So, would you guy out? You guys take care. Bye-bye.